Um, I want to talk about this big news in the world of Vampire Weekend. They uh, dropped a couple of things on us yesterday as uh, we're really going to start. You know, uh, we've really done a nice job. Dave Matthews Band, Dawes, um, Arctic Monkeys. Go back to some of our stories that we have up for you at WEHM.com. Under the on-air tab, you can click on Anthony. You can see all of our uh, videos as we track some music news. And I think this is going to be another one that we're going to be tracking, and that is new music from Vampire Weekend. So there's a couple of things going on that we need to know about here, and we're going to tell you everything that we know right now about new stuff from Vampire Weekend. One, they announced a couple of what they're calling intimate shows in California. Uh, simultaneously as they were doing that, they introduced a new logo or graphic, if you will, on their social media channels. It's a kind of uh, uh, thick penned uh, green swirly do. I don't know how you would, I'm looking at it in the studio. I don't know how you would describe that, but it's just, it looks kind of like if you were going to draw a tornado, I guess, or something like, or a hurricane just swirls around the pen. Not exactly sure what it means, but I love beyond anything when bands just put out weird stuff on their social to tease what is to come. Like, I have a feeling that after the new album comes out, we'll know exactly what that means. But for right now, all we could do is sit around and speculate. And how much fun is that if you're a fan of Vampire Weekend? So as they announced the two shows in California on uh, Instagram, somebody asked them, hey, how about the new record? Where are we at with that? And they actually shot back an answer to the Bullwinkler Report. So embarrassing, some of these names. At 94.5%. <laughs> you gotta love the nerd honesty from uh, Vampire Weekend. 94.5% um, on how the new uh, album is. Then uh, somebody named Joe Hall 109 asked, how big is the album, lads? And their response was, sizable. So how about that? Sizable. Um, so we can be excited about a new Vampire Weekend record. By the way, last September, they were asked about the new album, and they said they were about 80% through. So they got a good 14.5% done since September. That's not bad. That's not bad. If my math adds up correctly, that's 1.21 gigawatts per month. So pretty good. So pretty good for... Uh, Vampire Weekend. Remember, this is going to be the first album they released since uh, Rostam left back in 2016. So I'm interested to see um, how their sound is going to be coming on this new record. Although I did hear like a couple of things that maybe he was still in on helping them write. I know that was the plan early on. What's actually going to come about, I have no idea. But uh, taking a look at their tour schedule, they got the two shows in California June 16th and 17th uh, at Libby Bowl. And then they're in Australia on July 21st. 29th, they're in Japan. August 4th, they're doing Lollapalooza. And August 30th through September 2nd, they're doing the End of the Road Festival in the UK. So it's not a normal tour schedule by any stretch of the means. I mean, nobody goes from California to Australia to Japan to Chicago to UK. It's just not how tours run, but good for them if that's what they plan on doing. Um, and uh, like just to take a look at this and guess, they have a big window between June 17th and July 21st, their Australian show. It would make sense if this thing is only 5.5% from being finished that they do put out the record in that span of time. So we could be looking at a new Vampire record before uh, August comes around. Uh, they'll have the time. They can go into New York. They can go into, they'll be in California. They can do their touring. They can do the late night shows. They can do the press, the magazines. That's all important. You need at least a week or two uh, in New York. Yeah, you really need like five days in New York to pull an album release off talk to all the outlets and radio and TV and all that stuff. Um, so they do have a month window in between June and July. That's something to look at. And then uh, really once they go to Australia and then Japan, and then right after that, they're in Chicago, 
There is a break in between Chicago and the UK, so they could do it in August and perhaps maybe in September. So this is all guesses here, but you just got to look for holes in their touring schedule, and those are where the holes are at. So we could be looking at something maybe as early as, uh, you know, mid, mid to late June, uh, or perhaps, I think, August, because they wouldn't really release it if they're in Australia. That's not going to give them the biggest bang for their buck here in the States, which is obviously an important market for any uh, track, uh, any album release. But um, we're looking at uh, possibly a new Vampire Weekend record. If we know more, we'll deliver it to you. We'll be tracking this story as it goes. Check out some of our old, uh, the latest on the latest from Arctic Monkeys. We did one on them tracking their whole album release process, the rumors and everything else. Uh, and obviously Dave Matthews band, the latest on the latest at WEHM.com.